Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to configure Spring project from scratch. So to get started, just um, um, press Ctrl N to get uh, select the wizard and type uh, Maven. And here, Maven, we have Maven project. Click on Maven project and next. And here we have to create a simple project simple project and you have to check this box and next and here we are going to give our group ID um, com dot uh, test project and uh, at fat ID we can just say test uh, project and uh, we don't need to fill our other information just click finish and here we have a test project so these are our own directories and uh, at this moment we have a Java standalone uh, application and we need to uh, switch this application to a web application so uh, one thing I forgot to tell you guys is that you need to add uh, to have this uh, Spring plugin, and the way you do it, you go to Hub and install a new software. So for that, you need to uh, Google or find other tutorials about adding the, uh, the Spring framework on your Eclipse. So what we have to do here, we right click on, on the you right click, and you go to. Um, configure then convert to facet form and here you have um, uh, this project facets so we click on our uh, dynamic web module and here we select uh, 3.1 and then apply and now that we have changed the our uh, Java standalone to the web application we need to change the uh, system library and our server uh, so we have to uh, to uh, to change our Java build path so click on Java build path and uh, we we see Java system library is using 1.5 so we click on it and uh, you remove and uh, you click the add library so we add the currently library so um, you go to next and here workspace default j i'm using 1.8.0 underscore six zero so finish so we have it here and the next thing we do we have to add the server library so I'm going to uh, click on add library and check for the server runtime and next and I'll check on my system I have Apache Tomcat uh, version 8 and number 7 I'm going to choose for version 8 and finish and uh, now you click apply and OK and you, you may notice that we have uh, we have got the uh, uh, JDK according to what we added and also we have the tomcat here so but still we have the web content which is uh, is not uh, aligned with the maven project so we need to delete this and uh, so we and our source folder main we are going to add a new folder or you can just uh, click on main and control n and we just type folder and on folder type uh, web app and finish so we have the web app so we deleted the the web content but uh, if we go to our web deployment it might be there so just uh, uh, right click on our, on our project and uh, property and uh, up here go to web deployment and uh, 
we see the web content is still here so what we have to do is click on it and you remove and uh, we need to add to add the web app folder next and you go to source and main and the web app is here and finish so our web app is over here apply and ok then I'll click on it then control new then JSP then file then call index dot JSP then finish so we get this as a default so I'm going to write on the body uh, uh, welcome to JSP and save one more thing you notice that we don't have web inf and a web uh, and, our, and this folder so what we have to do is you just right click on our project and you go to java ee tools and generate generate deployment descriptor stab and here it is you have the web uh, web.xml at this point you have the full uh, um, spring uh, maven project from scratch and we could uh, start right the right click on this index and run on server and you select the server you go to next and uh, 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 let me remove this and we have the the test project in our server now and when we finish we run it and we get welcome from java so thank you guys and remember to subscribe like and share bye bye